Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Inscriptions Casey's Mod. Win or lose, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It has really uh, blown away my expectations, especially for a beta game. We are back on uh, Ascension Level 5, Challenge Level 5. I'm going to pick the middle starting deck with the bones and the bone creation. This one seems quite bad, I'm going to be honest, but maybe can make it work. I have to win with bosses awarding regular cards instead of rares. It has to happen. And then, I mean, just the totem battles for boss and regular did kind of bite me in the ass before, but I feel like if I get a really powerful start, then it won't matter what the totem is, I'll just be winning. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. Just win, idiot. <laughs> Why would you not win is the best strategy. So hopefully I can get some good winning cards early, maybe like a Mantis, maybe something I could buff up the attack of. And... No. Warren isn't too bad for my deck. I can make that one work, but then perhaps I'll go Porcupine. That's an all right starting card. It's nothing magnificent, but it'll do. Here's how I think I'll play it. I'm actually gonna do some campfires. We're gonna see if I can cheese up my units to be very powerful. And if they die, they die. So the first one is gonna be the Warren. I have two Warrens, so I'm going to go for two attack on this. Just take my risks early. Yeah. Because that way I'll know if I'm screwed right from the get-go, instead of finding out whether I'm screwed later on in the game. It makes sense this way, I think. Just taking all the risks. I don't know how long I'll keep that up, but seems like a good strategy for now. Um, so he's got his elk submerging during my turn. I'm going to play Squirrel into Warren, maybe just right here. And then I'm going to drop the Porcupine in front of where his Elk Fawn will be showing up, just so I can instantly pick it off. There you go. And let me get out that Rat King now. Shouldn't be too bad. And the Mole's going to block the attack of wherever I attack, so I might as well just let it be. And do I have enough bones for alpha? I do not. But it doesn't matter because it seems that my opponent has stopped giving up a fight. Well, let me get one extra damage. Why don't I? Oh, actually, a lot of extra damage now. They've made the sacrifice. Perfect. Yeah, so the buffed Warren is a huge improvement. I'm going to try to double buff the other Warren if I get a chance. I'm going to pick any card. Let's see. Pronghorn's not bad. Wild Bull's okay. Raven Egg's really good. Pronghorn has the best symbols. I think that means I take Pronghorn for its symbols. And I am looking for a campfire. Let's see. Can I buff up the other Warren? Oh, this is 2 HP, so this is a little different. I don't really want to double buff that. Maybe buff the Alpha so the Alpha can buff other things for longer. Or it could buff the Porcupine so it could survive more hits and keep dealing back damage. I'm going to go with the Alpha. I think the Alpha is one of the most important cards in my deck right now. I'm just going to buff it once, though, because it is one of the most important cards in my deck. If it was attack, I would have risked it, but health has a little bit more diminishing returns. Alright, their Elks block flying attacks, which are not of my concern. I need to get something down. Here's how I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Squirrel, Squirrel, into Rat King, dealing two damage and also blocking the Wild Bull. It dying and giving four bones is quite fine, as I will be playing the Alpha. And then, let's see. I will go Alpha into Squirrel. And it is good that the Alpha has the extra HP right now, so I can make use of that. And I get a little chip shot damage. And I'll get to pick off that wild bull just barely. Let's see what else is my deck. Oh, Warren's pretty good though. It's actually even better. Might as well put that here and get a rabbit down. If I wanted, I could pronghorn. I think I'm going to wipe out his bull first. I could pronghorn next turn. Yeah, here's how it's going to go. I'm going to go pronghorn right. This is fine. Longhorn right here. That's good damage. Perfect. 
Yeah, Alpha is the most important card of my deck. I'm so glad I buffed the health on it. There is another campfire to the left. I think I'm gonna take it. Just, this is the campfire strat. I almost never do this. Okay, so I can get birds, elks, or kin. Maybe kin? Another alpha would be great. Wolf cub is awesome too. It's one of the best starting cards. It's basically a one cost wolf. Excellent. Okay, plus two power. I did say plus two because it's going to go on the Warren. No, here's the better idea. I put it on the Pronghorn and I buff it once. You know, honestly, I think I'll just buff it on the Pronghorn. Like, this is plus two attack damage anyway, but I'm not going to risk it further on this one. It's fine. I, I changed my mind the risk thing. My deck seems pretty decent now, so I'm like kind of cooling off on the risk. You know, you don't need to risk if you're doing good. Okay, so his elks jump out to block my attacks. That's awful. I'm going to have to block off one of his elk fawns. Let's go Warren right here. And then Porcupine right here. So I can pick off one of his elks. Yeah, so this should do some good blocking. And then I'll be able to wipe out his elk fawn. Excellent. Rat King. And that should be all right. Oh yeah, this is looking good now. Good, good, good. Glad he's given up. I get him now. Yeah, like I said, my deck is not too bad at this stage of the game. It doesn't make sense to ruin it when you have a good thing going. Let's see. Elk, elk, fawn, or dire wolf pup. The loyal dire wolf pup. The bone it digs up will be the first of many to meet its teeth. Hmm. So it's a two cost. It digs up a bone every turn. I assume that's what this means. And then it levels up to become a dire wolf. Isn't a dire wolf like insane? Isn't it like a 2-5 that attacks twice down the middle? Isn't that absolutely nutty? Let me try it out. The elk fawn is pretty sick too, but this seems cooler. All right, let's see if I can make a full statue. I guess I will take flight and hope for a kin head. Let's see. Or elk. Flying elk isn't too bad. I have one elk. That's more than enough. All right. They've got snakes that will move and swap around units. That's awesome. It's the trapper, though. It's a tough fight. This isn't too bad, though. There you go. The smoke into Warren. Play, put that right here. Then I will get down the Rat King right here. And we'll do a little alpha in the middle. Buff some attack. Wipe out some things barely. I'll survive the bullfrog. I got a lot of HP. Oh god, they jump over each other. That's great. I'll have to sacrifice the, well, the right thing at the right time, I guess. Okay, rip. Oh wait, no, it went to the good direction this time. Good. Okay, I can get down a wolf cub and feel good about myself now. It's looking great. I have a decent amount of pelts, too. Yeah, I'm gonna be killing them next turn, so I'll take a squirrel so I can summon the units that I'll get for free. Alright. Next phase! It's time to trade. Yeah, alright. This should be a win. Such powerful creatures choose wisely. Yeah, let's get the skink out of here. Get the possum out of here, and that's already five damage. And maybe just the wolf cub for good measure. I draw from here, actually. Oh, pronghorn. I'm gonna just plop him down right next to the elf. A little bit extra damage. That seems good to me. The trapper is really easy if you have a decent amount of pelts, huh? 
Like, all you need is a decent surviving unit, which has to happen because you have to kill them with something. And then you just get rid of the stuff in front of them. I feel like it'd be a more tricky second portion of the fight if um, the units all moved up. But, I mean, I have lost in the second portion of the trapper fight before, so it is, it is possible. Okay, I can't go mud turtle this time. It's way too expensive. I've got to rock the kingfisher. I need some one attacks. This could be interesting on the alpha. I could hide the alpha during my opponent's turn so it never dies. Then the extra HP on it will be less good, but oh well. I have only one item, so the pack is tempting. So I could go right for sacrifice then pack. This seems more worth it. See if I can get bone cost. I do have a Rat King Sacrifice, and Corpse Maggots is one of the best bone ones, because you get it for free. Let's see now. Oh, I have a lot I could sacrifice. Rat King, I think? Yeah, just put the extra bones on something else, surely. 2-1 is not going to cut it. What is going to want the bones? Maybe Warren, since this will get sacrificed kind of often. I'll plop it down there. Why not? On to a real fight. Their dogs deal damage back to me when I hit them. You know, this totem stuff is actually really, 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 really tricky. Oh god, I have no turn one plays. Oh, that is a disaster. And bad news is I have no pronghorn follow-up. I guess if I want, and I kind of need this actually, I'm going to plop down a squirrel so I can get my free corpse maggots. So I can kill off his dire wolf pup because before it becomes something disgusting. Now I'm just going to slowly make my way towards Pronghorn. I mean, it's going to take forever. Oh, good God. Well, okay. I guess it's actually taken care of now. Actually, the Pronghorn's going to deal some decent damage, isn't it? Pronghorn should be winning. With the flight. Not immediately winning, but shortly. No, wait. Immediately winning. Very nice. Okay, I'm glad the pl Pronghorn has flight. That makes up for the slowness of it being two cost. Uh, let's see. Elk, turkey vulture, or another alpha. Weird, I haven't actually seen this in the card creation before. I'll take it. It's one of the best cards I have. And then a mycologist becomes tempting. I did want to pack, and I think I'll go for mycologist on the left side. Um, I'll grab some flight for damage. I have two alphas, so bones might make sense right now more than squirrels. I think I go bones. Those are harder for me right now. Again, his dogs deal damage back. This feels like a repeat of the last fight, except I have slightly better um, starting options. Okay, I'm going to put my porcupine in front of his dire wolf pup. It's insane that he just gets that on turn one. But you're dead? Oh my gosh. When my porcupine dealt one damage to the dire wolf pup, it's it triggered back one damage on me. Oh, that's disgusting. That is absolutely gross. Okay, well... I think I'm just going to wait for another dire wolf pup. Oh god, but that wolf is going to come and end me. Okay, fine. I guess I'm going kingfisher. Going kingfisher or something better here. Didn't get it. Okay, so I have only one way to survive, and that is with a kingfisher right here or anywhere. Has flight, so. I still be able to get out Pronghorn next turn. Woo. Might not be enough still. Actually, I know it's not enough. I'll be dealing two, he'll be dealing three. I might be able to balance it, though. Okay, maybe I can stay in this. Emphasis on maybe. <laughs> Put this here. It's going to jump over the rabbit, but not over the grand fur. Porcupine won't kill it. But then it's going to dodge. And then things are going to get sketch. I will have two damage this turn. I'm going to take three. So this would have... The pliers would have to keep me in this. But then I'm staring down four damage. And I'm only dealing two. So I would need to draw... I don't think there's a draw that saves me, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is not a single card in the deck that saves me. So I should just take my loss right now oh yeah I mean it was only gonna get worse damn it it's painful to see yeah you can say that 
make my way to the mycologist. A little blood, a little sigil, a little heart. I have a lot of sigils, and uh, that should be an automatic win. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, what do we got? A skunk that levels up to a greater skunk. A raven that blocks opposing attackers. And a mirror that flies. I'm going to take the skunk. I'm curious to see how well the skunk levels up. Right, my college is this necessary. All right. Let's see. Warren or Alpha? It's harder to sacrifice the Warren. I like the sacrifice ability of the Warren. The Alpha is more often than not a dead draw, so I want to make it worth it when I do draw it. And less likely that I have a dead draw. Five bones is hard to come by, and 2-6 uh, is pretty powerful. Alright, but this is do or die. I have to win this fight. There's no way out. So, Wolf Cub is good. Let's start with the Wolf Cub here, I think. Mm. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. It's a wolf now. Oh, and hit my wolf is opposing his wolf. Actually, wait. No, this is fine. I can draw whatever. Take the bones. Place the alpha here. That's six damage. That's enough to get him. There. I, I The alpha was worth it. So glad I leveled that up. I also saw there's another mycologist ahead, so I think it's worth leveling that as well. I still have two items in my pack, so I'm willing to let that go. Totem isn't really doing me too much right now. Oh, another skunk. Or another kingfisher, huh? A skunk will become the ultimate defensive unit. Yeah, a skunk will literally never die once I get this level up. Ready for my merger. And it's gonna level up, so this thing's actually gonna become very powerful. 06 by stats, but it's gonna become a greater skunk. I think that's what it's called. I could use another mycologist. This is awesome. Uh, what am I looking to sacrifice? Could be the kingfisher. I could put kingfisher on dire wolf pup. So that way it, it gives, gets a chance to actually level up. But I'm gonna sacrifice this almost no matter what. Yeah, if I get down the dire wolf pup, I want to make sure it lives to become a dire wolf. And once it becomes a dire wolf, it's actually quite powerful. Oh god, you can't see its face. <laughs> it's been censored, we can't see it anymore. Is Kin move. Twas the prospector. Uh, for me, I can get down both a Warren and a Wolf Cub. Should be a great start. Put you right here. And then a Wolf Cub right here. Off to the races. Now, with the way things are going, should be alright. Yeah, I won't be triggering the pack mule. I'll draw from my deck just so I know what I'm working with. Hopefully I'll be able to, I'll be, hopefully I'll be able to kill that pack mule. I'll again draw from my deck. Pronghorn, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's still fine. Just barely, though. Too bad my wolf dies. But look who's here. Corpse maggots. This time, I'll draw a squirrel. Just so I have action for the future. Yeah, so I don't get to kill the pack mule, which is not so great. At least I get enough bones to summon my alpha. Show me another squirrel. Let's get the alpha down right now. And oh, the gold nuggets do attack, which is awesome for killing the pack mule. Now I should enough, have enough squirrels and everything to do something. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm a coward. The mule was defenseless. I just attacked you with a gold nugget. I think I, I, I deserve to do whatever the hell I feel like. Right, so we're not going to see a crazy skunk play this game, unfortunately. Let's get down a pronghorn. For more damage, and then... Why not a possum to close it out? There we go. Sweet. Not too bad a Prospector fight. I, f I feel like this deck is a lot stronger than the previous one. Has a lot more threats. A lot more consistency. 
more ascended combined cards. Okay, Cockroach or Raven Egg. I don't really like Cat too much here. I think I'd just rather take a Raven Egg. I think I have enough value in my deck that the infinite value of the Cockroach isn't really going to change things. Well, let's see if that's really the case, though. Hopefully the wetlands won't be too difficult. I mean, the Pronghorn should beat the Angler almost by itself. All right, we're going to use do the Sigils one. Not even going to look at the rest. Yeah, four sigils in one card. Seems pretty good. Ew. Beehive is interesting. I get four bones out of it. I think it's good enough for the sake of the bones. Like, Alpha is still the best card in my deck. I want to get that down whenever I can. Honestly, my current totem's just fine. I think I'll instead just refresh pack. Ooh, give me that hourglass. Thank you. I see how my college is coming up. Excellent. Reptiles level up after one turn. So I got to kill this dude ASAP. Thankfully, I have Pronghorn. So we're going to go Warren. Into Rabbit. Into Pronghorn. So I deal four damage. He'll deal three. Then I'll deal four. I'll actually deal five. And then I'll win. So it's just barely clutches up. Nice. Uh, the thing is, if I do the Mycologist, it'll have to be on the Warren. And the Warren's one of my best cards in the deck. It lets me get out the Pronghorn turn one. It lets me get out Dire Wolf Pup, Pup turn one. Multiple units turn one. So I don't know if I want to combine my Warrens. Also, I do see a Trapper Trader combo up ahead. Maybe that's well worth it. Now, let's see. There should be normal prices. I, I will take a golden pelt. And do I want a wolf pelt? Nah, what the hell. Wolf pelt is still pretty good. Second tier of stuff is generally worth it. All right, let's do a sacrifice. Now, between these, I can have corpse maggots go on something else. Its stat line isn't too special. So it might be more worth it to get the free summon on a better stat line. Let's try that. So what's that actually going to look like? Well, it's going to be either Pronghorn or Alpha. I think Pronghorn, just to be able to cheat this out in another way, seems absolutely incredible. Time for the first fight in a bit. Hopefully I don't lose my candle. These cockroaches are stinky. Not great. Oh, well, speaking of stinky... I've got my skunk. Yeah, I have no idea what this skunk levels up into. Because of that, I'm going to place it on the edge. Let's find out after I take this damage. Of course, there's another flying ant coming. It is a 1-8 Elder Skunk. Very cool, but very unfortunate. I drew all of my pelts. This is bullshit. I'm not going to win this. I can't win this. This is unwinnable. If I draw all three pelts, yeah, that's that's terrible. Okay, at least I have both candles. But damn, the pelts actually screwed me one game. Good thing I'm about to get rid of them, but this is so awful. Elder Skunk is a 1-8. So if they have some attack reducer, it becomes a lot worse. Maybe I need flight blocking on that skunk as well. Just for situations like this. All right. Well, time to exchange. Out of these, Raven Egg's not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to take a second Raven Egg. Ooh, Mantis. It's a beehive that levels up. A cat with death touch. Yeah, that's worthless. Yeah, I'm going to take a second beehive. My cog just galore. Out of these, I think Strange Larva's better. Uh, I don't think the pelts were overall worth it, huh? Well, at least I get to remove some garbage card from my deck. What's it gonna be? Maybe Porcupine? Definitely not Pronghorn, not Wolf Cub, not Dire Wolf Pup, not Skunk. Yeah, maybe a Beehive. Maybe the Bone one? Level Up does seem more powerful. Yeah, I'll get rid of this Beehive. I do have plenty of duplicates anyway. 
Oh, but the mycologist is on the other side. Okay, his lizards level up. I need a fast acting play here. I can start my turn off like this. Saving myself from three and having it live and having it kill the Rattler. Oh, but come on, he's got a poisonous unit behind it. Oh, that's BS. Well, I just have to accept it at this point. I'm gonna get down my strange larva safely behind this stump so we can level up with time. Oh, but the Adder doesn't attack. The Adder doesn't attack. Yes, Elder Skunk for the win. It's so good. I can get a wolf cub down now safely. Oh my god. I forgot it doesn't even try to attack. Elder Skunk is so good. It's so good. And I got Mothman. Let's see what I get for my deck. Dire Wolf Pup. Well, I'm about to win, so I guess we just let it ride. Yes, good deck. Absolutely incredible unit. Ooh, I get some decent sacrifice options. I'm gonna take a one cost unit. A Warren is pretty good, actually. Warren's one of the better ones in my deck. Although, maybe I could sacrifice the Warren's ability and put it on something with better stats. Because I already have two Warrens. Yeah, I probably should, actually. It is the worst stat line of, out of any unit I have. Put that on, I guess, the Raven Egg? Any of them are basically the same. It's equally likely that I draw any of them. Well, now what do I sack? Here, maybe Porcupine? Actually, Porcupine could go really well on the Skunk, huh? Yeah, let's put down something better. Let's put on the Alpha. 2-6 with Porcupine seems pretty good. So, another beefy unit. Thing is, though, what I need is a bifurcation to beat the Angler. If I don't get... If I don't bifurcate, I don't beat the Angler. Now, I've got a full pack. I really... Gotta make sure I use those before I die. The flight will be awesome for the second phase. Okay, so from the get-go, I can go Raven Egg into Skunk. Ah, his Raven is a little annoying, though. Um, I'm gonna play it like this. Squirrel into Raven Egg right here. Maybe I won't even play the Skunk right now. Yeah, here's a better idea. I'm just gonna play the other Raven Egg. Get that damage going very quickly. He deals two, but I deal four. Oh, but that might not be enough. Um, well, I could take two straight turns. Yeah, because I get eight damage and then I get him. I think this is the only way I win this fight. So turn next turn is passed. What I want to know is whether or not a unit still gets pulled if he skips his turn. So I'm placing on a squirrel just in case. Yeah, he passes. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure about that, so I will gladly take that. Right, he has three bait buckets. But, uh, I'll draw from my deck, actually. Ooh. Well, it's very simple, you see. Because the ravens just attack over, and then I can win with that. Well, whatever, I win next turn, then. That Great White's not going to be going anywhere. Actually, it does kill my Skunk in two hits, but now it's an Elder Skunk. Surprise, bitch. Anyway, I win. Thank you for playing. Alright, it's time for the moon. It's good to be back. My items are still decently stocked. My deck seems very consistent and strong. I don't like any of these. Or maybe I'll just take Worker Ant because it's a one cost. Yeah, actually, I can't dr miss. I cannot risk the bad draw with a mud turtle. I have to take the one cost here. As bad as it is, has no synergy with my deck and no real potential. I'm hoping for mycologist. Didn't get it. I have a totem already. Do I want something new for my pack, or do I want to sacrifice something? I think I would most prefer a pack refresh in hopes I get either a squirrel or a goat, and I got a squirrel. Good. Actually, I guess the black goat one's been that good. The squirrel is mostly good. Alright, how do I fare against Leshy? Mm. 
His insects deal damage back. The starting mole is going to be the death of me. Although I could get down Dire Wolf Pup right away now. Let me first go smoke into Raven Egg. I'll have you right here. And then I'll get a Dire Wolf Pup in front of the Mantis God. Or so the Mole Man blocks the Mantis God. Now, do I want to get my skunk down is the question. I think the answer is yes, I do. I want to rush this out as fast as I can. Try to get that damage going. Because he's going to start trying to kill my stuff off. Can't let that happen. So Dire Wolf Pup is nuts. So I'll get... I will get one damage on him. Hopefully he does not just completely smite my units. That would be heartbreaking. And then playing the skunk would have been a mistake. Here we go. Okay, at least I kill the Mantis God, please. Fuck! No! Oh god, that's terrible. That is really, really bad. Right, here's how I have to play this. I've got to go squirrel to Warren here. And then next turn I can draw from my deck. Oh, that is so bad. Okay, yes, please. Hook a gold nugget. I don't care in the slightest about that. Okay, give me something. Alpha's pretty good. I'm going to go alpha here and then rabbit here because he's gonna have to pull up that rabbit. This way I can get some attacks off my gold nugget. Yeah, enjoy that worthless rabbit. That still hurts. Well, let's see what's in my deck. Warren will be good for next turn. Okay, and I get to keep up with this amalgam. Whoa. Whoa! That's an Uriuli. Um, oh god. Thankfully, I have a gold nugget in the way. Jesus Christ, though. Let's get this Warren down right here. And then block the Amalgam for sure. Because just barely. Oh, I got a wolf pelt. Whoa, trade for what you can and the rest will stand fight for me. <laughs> um... Well, this is interesting. His Uraiuli is blocked by the possum. So, what I could do, I could take the amalgam, and I mean, the possum's gonna kill my gold nugget. And that's fine, because then I'm gonna wipe him out. Although the Uraiuli could be fun, but there's no way I'm summoning that. So, let's see. Yes, I just have barely enough. Although I might as well also kill off his bloodhound. Oh, never mind. That doesn't work. Bus is still fine. Free damage. Okay, at least I beat the rare creatures. Wait, the bloodhound stays. Okay, this is still fine, though. Because I can buff my squirrel to kill his possum. Unlocking the Sean, which is equally scary. My amalgam doesn't die. Oh god. I think I'm gonna just barely be fine. Yeah, four damage on the amalgam is perfect. Thankfully, this is not flight blocking. I'm gonna look for... Well, let's see what's in my deck. Worker ant should be nice. Okay, bring on the moon. Good god, this was close. Thankfully, this is a good setup, though. Alpha is incredibly strong. Should be able to get me through some really tough times. Do I dare attack the moon? Well, I have no choice. Um, the flight is now useless. I should have given my creature's flight last turn so the amalgam could have more HP. Oh, well. Well, ant coming down. And the alpha deals back a damage. So the alpha's single-handedly going to keep me in this. Um, I could sacrifice the worker ant for the raven egg. I think that's actually well worth it. It basically has one more HP and then it's going to become something bigger. Yes. Wolf cub. 
won't be too great. I'm only going to get a small amount of damage out of this. Oh, this is cutting it real close, though. Let's see what else is in my deck. Pronghorn! Ooh, Pronghorn is going to come down for free, but it's going to be on the edge! No! Ah, damn it. Here's how I do this, then. If I want Pronghorn to deal more damage, I sacrifice the Raven for the Wolf Cub here, recognizing that it's going to die, but Pronghorn is going to pay off much more heavily. Now keep summoning stuff. Okay, I could sacrifice the Alpha for the Beehive. The Beehive might give decent value. And then the Pronghorn's going to have two less attacks, so I'm going to lose out on quite a bit of an attack here. Hmm, am I sure that I want to do this? I deal eight right now. I might actually just chill on this one. Accept the eight. And Pronghorn's going to live long enough that this might still be fine. It's going to come down to the wire. Almost out of cards, too. At least I can get my beehive just on this edge. I get a bee every time it hits it. And it's going to level up. Oh my god, I think I'm just barely going to clutch up. It's just barely going to clutch up. Oh, perfect damage. Might as well get the strange larva down too. Holy close moon fight. This was a nail biter. Look at all those bones that I didn't get to use. I guess a cockroach could have been decent, huh? Holy crap. Well, that's another win. I cannot wait to see how much harder this is going to get. This is already insanely challenging. I'm loving this. Few misplays this time. Only seven. Entry five. Data in beta state. For any quality concerns, please contact Kaminsky, Kaminsky Data Storage MFG. Right. I keep forgetting this is a beta version. All right, fair enough. Well, I got a mealworm. When mealworm is sacrificed, it adds its stat values to the card it was sacrificed for. Well, that's a very cool effect. Starter deck to unlock with a mantis god and two ringworms. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that is going to be a fun starter deck. And the next challenge is that more and stronger opposing creatures in all battles. Holy crap. Well, that is going to be real tricky next time. Ascension Challenge at level 6 up next. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next inscription video. Have a wonderful day and peace.